In a breaking scandal of titanic proportions, a 2002 interview has come to light in which Vice President Mike Pence says he will not dine alone with a woman who is not his wife and does not go to events where alcohol is served unless his wife is present. The left erupted with outrage at the news that Pence took steps to avoid being unfaithful to the woman he loves. Some compared Pence to a Muslim, though being a Muslim is of course fine, but Pence is worse. Not to say Muslims are bad, but something, something, something. As one Twitter leftist put it, quote, it's very important that I comment angrily on the personal lives of people I dislike. Otherwise, I'd have to confront the fact that my own life is a meaningless vortex of anger and loneliness that compels me to spread the same leftist values that have made me so terribly, terribly unhappy, unquote. Feminists, of course, were particularly bitter and outraged about the remark. They were also bitter and outraged before the remark, during the remark, and after the remark. As prominent feminist commentator Shrilly Miserable told the cats in her partially furnished studio apartment, quote, it's offensive to women to think that just because one of us sits down to have dinner with Mike Pence, she would want to run her hands through his authoritative silver hair and gaze deeply into his steely brown eyes while sort of accidentally touching his muscular calf with her stocking foot and confessing that sometimes she secretly wishes some powerful man would come along and rescue her from the drab emptiness of her own misguided philosophy, unquote. Journalists also joined what NPR called the, quote, Mike Pence misogyny debate. The journalists felt the conversation wasn't quite as stupid and shallow as it could be, and they were sure the opinions of journalists would fix that problem right up. The website Vox ran an article saying it was illegal for Pence not to dine alone with women. I'm not making that up. And Cosmopolitan's website ran an article mocking Pence just one day after they posted a confessional piece by a, quote, side chick, that is the girl who was sleeping with your husband because he didn't follow the rules laid down by Mike Pence. And of course, we all remember how the media celebrated Bill Clinton's, quote, complicated love story after Clinton whitewashed his marriage of infidelity and sexual harassment during his convention speech last year. Well, those same venues attacked Pence for being, quote, a puritanical latent womanizer. That profoundly meaningless phrase comes from Slate, which is called Slate because you have to be as dumb as a paving stone to read it. The issue, for those of you who can't figure out why there even is an issue, is that Pence acknowledges the truth about human nature and takes steps to ensure he does what's right instead of what's wrong. When you're a leftist feminist standing out in the cold wearing a stupid pink hat after voting for a woman who helped intimidate her husband's harassment victims into silence, that can make you feel kind of bad about yourself. Maybe it's just the hat. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Claven, and this is The Andrew Claven Show.